spit the drama, barely means nothing to me. I ride by and blow your brains out. Brains out. There's no time to cock it. No way to stop it when niggas. Cocksucker, this shit rap. Check my rap sheet. I feed you to the rat with peanut butter on your feet. 44 Bulldog. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Welcome to the fire. When you get in line and you get in line. You understand me? Today's victim, my next target, is these suckers BT and Sal. Now, shout out to my man Eorky for putting his hit out on BT and Sal. Y'all know I only do fire ranges when I get paid to do them. So shout out to uh, my man Eorky for dropping the bag. Now, let me do what I do. I don't understand something. This is where the disconnect comes in from me to them. Now, I don't know them. I've never seen these two clowns before in my life. Never. All right. But I must say, after watching them for 10 minutes, they stink. They're garbage. Get them up out of here. The only reason why they have a platform is because they filled out an application and got hired. Okay, I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar that if they had to get it out the mud, like me, or Bad Dog, or whoever your favorite Giants content creator is, they'd be stuck on like 100 subscribers. Because they're, they're, they're terrible. They're trash. They stink. Okay? They don't know what they're talking about. This is why you come to Fist Vegas. This is why you come to me, because at the end of the day, I give you the truth and not only do i give you the truth but i entertain you i keep it real i give you analysis on the giants that you're not gonna get from suckers like bt and sal at first i was disappointed i'm like yo they hung up on carl banks how dare you hang up on carl banks but the, i watched the clip twice the clip that eorky sent me i watched like the last seven minutes of that clip twice and all i could think about is how much better I am at my job than they are. Who would y'all have ever listened to? BT and Sal or Fist Vegas and Cop Pizzle? Would you ever tune in to whatever this trash ass show is or would you ever tune in to the Giants Outsiders on Wednesday? I do you one better. If you gave me and Cop Pizzle the platform that those two clowns have, the infrastructure, the marketing dollars, the radio, all the shit that they get, the, t the cameras and all the shit that they get. If you gave me and Pizzle that same opportunity, we would carry WFAN because we're entertaining and we know what the hell we're talking about and we know how to be respectful. How the hell you hang up on Carl Banks? And after hanging up on Carl Banks, you proceed to say, I don't, can't be bothered with watching all 22. I don't understand defensive schemes and all this other stuff. All I can judge by is what I see on television. How can you say that? How can you hang up on Carl Banks for, for, for trying to educate you on what Kayvon Thibodeau does on the football field and then proceed to admit that you can't be bothered to watch the All-22. You can't be bothered to learn defensive schemes. You don't know what goes on in the coaching meetings. All you grade him on is what you see on television. How dumb can you be? How dumb can you be? That's like a magician showing you where he hides the napkin. You ever see the magician? They take the napkin and they abracadabra it and it disappears. That's literally like a magician telling you what he's doing. All you really just did was tell your whole audience that you're a fuckboy. That you don't know what you're talking about. Why would I tune into somebody's show whose job it is to talk about football when they don't know football? Hey, yo, Fisk. You see that new Taylor Swift concert? Yo, Fisk, did you listen to that new Taylor Swift CD? Yo, Fisk, you see what Taylor Swift just did on her last album? No, nigga, I don't listen to Taylor Swift. I listen to 50 Cent. The fuck am I doing talking about Taylor Swift if I don't listen to Taylor Swift? Why would you come to me to give Taylor Swift analysis when I don't even know the name of her last five albums? I know one Taylor Swift song and it's called Shake It Off. The only reason why I know that is because I hear it at the gas station. I know nothing about Taylor Swift, so I don't talk about Taylor Swift. These idiots just basically told you they know nothing about football. Why would you listen to them and go to them for football analysis? For what? For what? You gonna sit here and rip Kayvon Thibodeau. You're gonna rip Kayvon and say he's not an impact player when 
he's doing his job. Kayvon Thibodeau has been the best player on our defense all year. Oh, he's not Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons is going to be a Hall of Famer. We hope Kayvon can make a Pro Bowl. That's what the bozo in the black hoodie said. Hey, bozo in the black hoodie, because I don't know y'all names. I don't know which one is BT. I don't know which one is Sal. I don't know. All I know is the bozo in the black hoodie. Did you know? Well, you probably don't know because y'all can't be bothered with analytics and you can't be bothered with all 22. Allegedly, you hung up on Carl Banks because y'all know how to conduct the show. That's, that's what you told me. Like Your job is to conduct the show, not no football. So let me educate you kind of like how Carl Banks was doing. It, okay. Kayvon Thibodeau has more sacks than Michael Parsons. He has more sacks than Aiden Hutchinson. And he has more sacks than Brian Burns. He has more sex than Ed Oliver in Buffalo. I'm sorry. He's not an impact player. He has more sacks than Chase Young. He has more sacks than Rashawn Gray in Green Bay. But he's not an impact player. Kayvon Thibodeau's not an impact player, but he has more sacks than all these edge rushers that you say are impact players. How many times does Kayvon drop back in coverage? How many times does Kayvon have to stay on the edge and rush every play? What Kayvon does and what Micah do are two different things. Micah Parsons is all over the field. He's rushing from the middle linebacker spot, from the end spot. He's all over the field. Micah Parsons and Kayvon Thibodeau speak completely different languages. One speaks German, the other speaking freaking Chinese. They do two completely different things. They're two completely different players. You can't compare Kayvon's impact to Micah's impact. And shout out to Carl Banks for politely explaining to you that Kayvon got a sack versus the 49ers. Micah didn't. I don't understand why these clowns still have jobs. You know, there's going to come a day where I'm on television. There's going to come a day where WFN contacts me. The only reason why BT and Sal have a platform is because they filled out an application. They didn't earn their fan base. They didn't earn shit. They didn't build their audience. It was given to them. Make me fucking sick that they get an opportunity to talk to a legend like Carl Banks because they filled out an application. The only difference between those fuckers and me is they filled out an application. That's it. So when it's all said and done, Carl Banks, come on to the Giants Outsiders, come talk with me and Pizzle. These athletes and these former athletes need to start talking to people like me. Because at the end of the day, your, your favorite YouTuber matters a hell of a lot more than some idiot on a radio show. And I don't even think that's up for the beat. And seeing the way they just treated the second greatest linebacker in Giants history behind Lawrence Taylor is exactly why. You come to me, you come to your pistols, you come to your bad dogs, you come to us for your Giants news. You come to us for your Giants content. That's what you do. Because you can't listen to these idiots who know nothing about football, who literally only have a job because they fill out an application. I entertain y'all every day and give you analysis at the same damn time. Put some respect on what I do and boycott what the fuck they do. Like I said, Carl Banks, Saquon, Daniel Jones, come up to the fist, come up, come up to the outsiders, come talk, man. With that being said, I want these two old dusty dickheads. I want them to come to the front. I want them to put a smile on their face. I want them to turn around and take these shots. <laughs>